Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, number 94, The Mole Rat. Now, when Mole Rat was announced, they said there was a, a new figure. Um, that was all they said. They said it at, I think, the MCM London Con, or whatever it is, uh, last year. Everyone was was buzzing, speculating, is it a Joe Troop Builder? Is it Pack Rats? Um, you know, is it like the Mole Pods, like the Terra Vipers from uh, Rise of Cobra line? And... I mean, that's close, kind of. Um, to me, it's more of the uh, the Hazard Trooper and the uh, Zombie Viper from... Hazard Viper? From uh, the Pursuit of Cobra line. Which is, you know, arguably the, the best line in the uh, the Joe Joe toys, I guess. The, oh, the OG ones, the O-rings. Yeah, back in the 80s. But, I mean, comparing them to now, I mean, we know Classified's killing it. But, anyways, let's dive into more at... Plastic free packaging, get our artwork on the side, um, and all the uh, shots on the uh, on the websites and stuff. This tube can actually connect into the helmet. We'll we'll talk about that in the future. But there you go. You got your mole rat. Looks like he's in like a, a mine or a tunnel. We got all of our dark energon lurking around. We get our zombie headpiece, uh, all his gear. We get that artwork again. That looks awesome. So. Just in time for Halloween, I guess. QR code on the side there. G.I. Joe Classified Series on the top. Shenanigans on the bottom. Flipping it over in the back. There's all his stuff. Focusing on the uh, the mask and his little uh, gear on his vest. There's all his stuff. Again, you gotta like do some digging. I posted the pictures of what everything means, but... I don't know why they they haven't streamlined that or figured that out yet. Hopefully, hopefully in the not too distant future. Hopefully they announce some at uh, the uh, PulseCon here coming up. But figure comes zip tied in. There's that artwork again, holding the little uh, dark energon lantern thing. We get our weapon crate. Just says mole rat. No cobra mole rat. No nothing else. Just just mole rat. It's going to be 94 in the line. Getting into his accessories. We get this, uh, like a backpack, air tank kind of thing. Look like To me, they look like fans or vents. Kind of allow some breathing through it. You got a little hook on the bottom here. Store some of the gear. Another clip over here on the side. Score, scores, blah. Can't speak. Store some more of the gear. And then this piece connects into the, uh, the mast head, which will show off. All black. Nothing much else going on there. You get these two kind of gun blaster thingy bobbers. Porthole for blast effects. Uh, keyhole in the back of this one so you can rock it solo. You got this one going on. And they do connect into each other. Uh, it is a little warped next to the uh, plastic free packaging and this not great plastic, but there it is all put together. Fun, fun little, I guess, chemical weapon, biohazard weapon, whatever you want to call it. You get a drill, uh, two colors, gray bit, silver bit, handle, and I guess you could actually hook this into the uh, thing too. So there you go. Drilling out that energon or fighting zombies, whichever you prefer. Get this little like uh, scanner, like Geiger counter thing. Scanning for the uh, dark energon or maybe something else. Got a little antenna there. Little screen, some buttons. No color. And then this doesn't. Doesn't go anywhere. Maybe this clips onto the uh, side here. You can do that. Maybe go on the bottom here. You can do that. You get this uh, lantern piece thingamabobber. Maybe it's just a containment, containment device for the Dark Energon. Uh, it's got a little bit of that purplish red right there 
Other than that, no other colors, nothing else. The handle does rotate. So that's pretty fun little touch. You get this hose piece. Then you got your uh, your mast head. It looks pretty good. You can tell he's got the uh, like the airtight seal of like the chemical suit with the mask. Eyes. There's a peg hole in the front. This guy just pegs in. And then this piece can peg in also. Going to the figure himself. Here's that zombie head. And it looks awesome. Paint apps look great on this one. Um, with the light hitting it, it looks good. But without the light hitting it the way it is, it just looks kind of bland. But it's not horrible. And then he's got the... Uh, the hazard suit on underneath the seaburn suit. He is a he's got some bulky arms. We got the we don't have the ab crunch. We got the rocker swivel, whatever you want to call it. Um, nice little hosing over here. That looks awesome. I'm thankful this isn't a deluxe figure with all the crazy stuff he's got going on. Got all your your stuff on the front. There's where that hose connects in. Right there, like that. And then it goes up into a, the face. You got your, very similar to this guy. It's got all, uh, it's got that like neck seal. Going to the back, nothing too much going on in the back. Got a little Cobra logo here on the side. Got some magazine pouches or whatever you want to call them. Got a little doodad over here on the shoulder, same on the other shoulder. Got some orange, orange going on underneath. And that's it. Working our way down. We got some bulky legs, and then we got these, uh, the boots and the, uh, pant leg cuffs are all one piece. So we got some, some cuff swivel. And we got some just regular, regular boots. So let's, let's pop this set, head off and, uh, get him all hazard up. We'll put the backpack on too. So, so here he is with the, uh, mast head. Pretty solid. And here he is with everything pegged in. Backpack connects into the side of the helmet. Helmet connects into the, the vest. Not too much movement when all that's hooked in, but it's there. Not It works. Definitely adds a lot. Otherwise, I guess you can kind of just unpeg this and have it kind of working. Same thing. Mo too much movement, it's going to unpeg but it's there not not a, not a killer but you know some little extra thought but what can you do unless they made these like super flexible then they'd be all over the place but there you have it. there's the more the more ret grab him next to the hazard viper so definitely some some solid vibes and how can we forget the zombie viper from the pursuit of cobra line I wonder if we'll see an actual straight-up zombie viper in the future. I keep throwing the zombie head across the thing. So, are you guys picking this up? Are you guys troop building? Are you guys troop building mole rats and the zombies? Zombies aren't your thing. So you're just gonna have the hazard troops, the seaburn troops. Let me know in the comments below. Here's uh your cobra. Here's your Cobra Night Force enemies, your uh, Dark Energon Wilderness enemies, minus the Crimson Alley Viper, who's in my display right now, and I forgot to grab him out, so I apologize, but let me know in the comments below. Are you guys excited for this? Are you guys looking forward to uh, what else they're going to drop soon? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Bobby V from Bees Battlegrounds. Load up, grab your kit. I'll see you in the Battlegrounds.